Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst for CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets on the uh, Wednesday, the 22nd of June 2016. Uh, we certainly are within 24 hours of this potential Brexit going underway, and hopefully we uh, return to some type of normality, especially given this irrational and logical price action. I continue to be negative, two, two or second or third week of negative now on the uh, the actual European market. So certainly uh, very, very strange and very hard to decipher. This is my third week of being negative. So again, um, intermarket analysis at present certainly isn't reading the divergences. And it certainly is uh, very hard to uh, work out with regards to price action at present. We've just had a pivot high of 6285 on the FTSE prior to a referendum. Very illogical, very irrational. Okay, we'll try and decipher exactly what's happening here in terms of uh, the price action. Now, overnight, first of all, uh, the um, Japanese uh, Nikkei was down. Okay, more 0.6%. The Hang Seng and the Shanghai were higher. Okay, European markets certainly all higher across the board with the DAX up another 1%. Very impressive. Please do uh, visit Trade Signal, Signal to Market Updates from Leading Providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can download it at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data today, uh, the uh, news flow in terms of uh, econ data, uh, really it was all about CHF, uh, ZEW coming in better, retail sales out of Canada coming in stronger, house prices or house prices out in the US oh, came in more or less with expectations. Okay, uh, We're waiting for existing home sales and yeah, yeah, obviously Miss Yellen testifying as well. Uh, they are the other two factors to uh, keep an eye out for in terms of the uh, market participants. Okay, now in terms of the uh, European session, let's just exactly see exactly what's happening here. The German DAX is into its FIB 75% gap fill resistance, so certainly close the gap. So daily chart, from my perspective, is into resistance. 60-minute chart, we close the gap with into horizontal resistance. There are multiple resistance zones above with gap fill. Uh, very hard for me to envisage them closing at present, given the fact that this market has, has been up quite stellar already. Okay. Again, uncertainty with regards to Brexit certainly remains, from my perspective. Uh, you can see here this H&S formation I expected to play out, certainly failed. And again, you have multiple gaps below. I mean, you have a humongous gap down here and a gap down here. So again, it's very hard to uh, understand as to why the markets are going higher with the known threat of, um, of this potential Brexit looming as well. But markets are totally oblivious to risk at present. So... Uh, you have to accept that. Uh, again, my stop losses have been triggered on the shorts. Certainly, I am in the bearish camp, as you've seen in the last two days. Certainly looking for a move lower, especially when you have a gap uh, as big as this. Certainly looking to potentially close. The markets are totally ignoring that and certainly pushing higher regardless. So, again, retesting previous highs, moving higher, retesting previous highs, moving higher. For now, the resistance remains at 10,140 and 10,130. So, they are the two zones that I'll be looking for in terms of a potential resistance and a market moving lower, okay, in terms of the German DAX. Certainly looking for weaker price action. The first gap that certainly needs to close is at 10.016, and then we'll see exactly what happens with the other gaps below, okay. In terms of the European session, we have the CAC, okay. The CAC, as you can see here, retesting those pivot highs. Pivot high so far is 4.410, okay, certainly being respected at present. Again, the unfilled gap hasn't closed yet at 4360. Again, looking for that potential gap to close uh, in terms of uh, market price action at present. Okay, again, you have this gap at uh, 4360, and then obviously you have the, the big humongous gap at uh, 4200. That certainly needs to close as well. So, those, those are the two gaps that I'd potentially be targeting. Okay, and again, European markets totally ignoring the con risk, the concern, certainly trading as if uh, Brexit has already uh, been. Has already occurred well not occurred but brexit has been rejected so again you have to uh, certainly uh, pay attention to that for now you have diagonal trend line resistance so again looking for a resistance on the foot see if that's a diagonal trend line resistance were to crack then the next one is six three hundred and again that's a zone that i'd certainly be happy to uh, short the uh, footsie currently short the cac and short the uh, euro stocks at present and expecting a uh, bias to remain bearish at present okay in terms of the footsie itself uh, the 60-minute chart up on the FTSE, you can clearly see that we have resistance at around the 6280, 6290, sorry, 6300 and 6320. So they are the zones to potentially look for, okay? Certainly a failed bull flag here, as you can see, failed bull flag. The market failed to move lower on Brexit concerns. Certainly seems to constantly short squeeze at the moment. And again, it'll be interesting to see how long that lasts, okay? Uh, if I use my diagonal trend line, uh, you can clearly see that we're into this potential resistance. Try, try diagonal trend line here. 
okay and uh, it's certainly a rising contracting type wedge pattern so again looking for potential weakness okay in terms of the uh, the uh, FTSE 100 okay now again the unfilled gap the big gap remains at 6010 and then your multiple support zones below and certainly looking for weakness especially given the fact that you have oil into resistance now if I bring up the chart of oil you can clearly see that we are into resistance on the chart of oil certainly a double top potentially being uh, carved in here uh, intraday you can see double top at 50.5 uh, no real catalyst to really propel higher okay uh, copper really has been very impressive in its move apparently it's been uh, put down to uh, whether or not it's been interpretation of miss yellen's uh, dovey stance it's uh, regardless it certainly is being respected at present so certainly bullish uh, in terms of its mood copper certainly is uh, uh, leaning towards the potential uh, remain side okay that's one of the reasons why it's been uh, in a constant short squeeze as risk is being embraced okay so certainly looking for potential downside action here okay now in terms of the aussie and kiwi let's bring up the aussie and kiwi to look at uh, potential uh, direction on this market uh, let's bring up the aussie usd aussie usd again into that double top resistance folks okay so looking for weakness on the aussie uh, again, uh, the Aussie into resistance equals FTSE into resistance. Okay, daily chart of the Aussie, you can see clearly into resistance that topping tail potentially holding here. Okay, the Kiwi chart as well. Let's bring up the Kiwi chart for you, daily chart. Yes, we have pierced above, so we'll certainly respect that for now. But again, we shall see whether or not say it's a topping tail and a failed pattern. Okay, certainly looking for further weakness on the Kiwi as well, especially with regards to weaker economic data overnight. Okay, in terms of the dollar index. Bring up the US dollar chart for you. So US dollar chart certainly holding support. Okay, the 15 minute chart certainly potentially holding support. Going to your 60 minute chart as well, coming into support. So this is certainly a good support song. Okay, and again, all eyes on Miss Yellen's testimony and see how the, how the individuals react there. Okay, uh, from my perspective, uh, US dollar will certainly remain bid. Why? Because of the uh, Brexit concerns. Okay, so Brexit concerns will keep the dollar bid versus its peers. So. Certainly looking for dollar strength here going into tomorrow and given the uncertainty, etc. etc. Okay, so again, uh, impressive. Okay, all I can state is that the MDAX is into its FIB 75% resistance into a previous support equals resistance. Okay, tech all share as well uh, into that FIB 38% resistance and looking for weakness. Now, let's look at the SP 500 quickly. Okay, the SP 500, yes, you do have this inverted head and shoulders formation, so again, that certainly needs to be respected, but whether or not we can continue on with that that's the question okay nasdaq daily chart as well certainly uh, you have the right shoulder here potentially forming it's whether or not the market can follow through with that so again the uncertainty with regards to his vote being so close we did have the daily mail and one or two other polls certainly pushing the remain camp going back higher and potentially taking the lead again but this market certainly is oblivious to it at present okay not sure why it's not factoring in the risk i have no idea but certainly is oblivious okay we currently have the uh, copper and oil now into resistance, so the catalyst that propelled it higher certainly should uh, should certainly stop now and uh, certainly looking for a pause in equities. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25% cash opening off. Goodbye.